Solmar has been progressively getting more dangerous over the last 10 years and simply because they don't want to spend money on security or their staffs. They've been getting rid of uh, greeters, they've been uh, putting more self-checkout lines, and that actually adds on to the problem because there's Walmart's such a huge store, there's not many people watching out for uh, suspicious activity. Now, you know, which you is like a pretty basic thing to do. You know, you have a store, you fucking buy, like, pay for security. It's pretty simple logic. It's not anything extreme that, like, we're thinking of. Yeah, know? if you look at Target, Target doesn't have this problem. They actually have security guards, they have uh, greeters, and they have actual full staff. Now, Walmart has been actually adding more store faster than they actually been hiring employees. Each employee has to cover 524 square feet of space. That's a 19% increase over the 10 years. That's you're talking crazy. about a huge ass store with multiple merchandise and a lot of people coming coming through and you're not keeping track of what's going on. Violent crime has actually increased by a lot. More than 200 violent crimes, including attempted kidnappings and multiple stabbings, shootings, and murders have occurred at the nation's 4,500 Walmart this year, or about one a day according to analysis of media reports. So basically, it wasn't even Democrats or actually common people. Uh, it's the uh, cops that are tired of this shit. Yeah, like, it was the cops who put in the complaint. They were like, I'm tired of sending my staff over to watch over Walmart. To Why? do your job. Yeah. To do your job because it's their job. It's Walmart's job to provide security to the Walmart customers. And see, the, the underlying reason why this happens is because the CEOs want to get the quarterly bonus, so they want to uh, maximize profits as, as much as possible and get their bonus, get, get in and get out of the company. I mean, Walmart's a different case because if some family owners, uh, uh, family members actually are in the board, but <clears throat> still applies in the same way. They're, they're, the greed is still there. So it, it, they, yeah, because even though they are family there are family members mm -hmm. in the in the board. Um, they it, it's open for shareholders. Yeah, and that's when the greed comes in. Although I'm not saying that the family itself is not greedy. We don't know that. Yeah, but even then, it's the it's, shareholders. It's, it's, it's the really culture. the shareholders it's, it's, that put the yeah, pressure it's, it's the in culture. for more profit, more profit. Because they every time they have more shareholders that want to squeeze in even more. Yeah. So that's the and when you have a big ass bonus at the end of your quarter. Yeah, you're only going to focus on that quarter. You're not going to uh, 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 focus on the actual long-term effect. And what does that happen? It takes the burdens on us, the taxpayers. You have to pay for the police to actually go patrol when they could actually be spending half a billion dollars on security. You know, it might seem like a lot, but Walmart's profit, it's over $14 billion a year. I Which mean, makes sense, you know, half a billion dollars is a decent amount. Yeah. <laughs> that's and, a pretty big amount. And that's the same reason that they don't want to pay their workers a living wage because, you know, t uh, um, the government can just subsidize with food stamps and other, and other forms of that's aid. That's another thing, yeah, because they don't even pay the employees right. So then the employees have to go ask the government for benefits. And it, when in reality, so, if you pay your workers more, they will actually spend more in on your, your own, store. Yeah, exactly. It's like they're dumb or something. Yeah, but. a lot of the Walmart workers spend a large portion of, of their paycheck at Walmart. But that's the problem because Walmart is not owned by, for example, one person. If it was owned by one person, then that would be the, the logic. I'll pay yeah. them more, they'll bring me back that money. But since it's a ton of shareholders, all they want is to squeeze as much as they can right then because they're just sucking that money out. That's yeah. really the problem. And this culture has to change. Uh, we don't want to pay for your shit.